been a while, so I suppose I should make an update. Out here with Poppy. Um, okay, so let's see what's been going on. Um, first of all, miraculously, I have been able to curb my hours at work. Um, I'm down to 25 hours a week, which is probably horrifying to some people. Um, except when I originally set up my contract, I was working 22 hours a week. That's what I was contracted for. And that's what I need to cover my expenses. Um, I mean, I'm still like, this month isn't even over and I'm still over a thousand dollars past my expenses earned. Um, which goes toward the next trip. Whenever the heck that will be. <laughs> um, uh, looks like November maybe? Um, obviously more things will pop up. Um, I didn't go anywhere this month. Um, Coping. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Uh, this was a really bad month, but then people have been around for a while. I mean, it, it took me a little while to figure out what the heck was going on. Um, and maybe I shouldn't pay attention to the theories, but there is this theory of anniversaries, and what I was going through this time last year was really, really bad. Um, really bad. Don't go look it up. Don't go drudging yourself through the hell of what it was. I mean, it was bad. Um, and then the year before that, um, it's just past the second anniversary of my mother's death. This is suddenly a bad time of year. Um, <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to last. And maybe it'll just be like, okay, this is the one time deal. And maybe... You know, I mean, we are in the middle of this stupid pandemic. I'm still kind of stuck here. Um, I'm still super isolated. Um, that's beginning to be a problem again. Um, because I don't really do much out in the world. I can't. Like, you can't even go to the library and look at the books and decide which one you want to take out because they don't open the doors. You can get books from the library, but they don't let you in the building. Um, I know that what I'm whining about is unnecessary and there are a lot of people without jobs and far worse restrictions and so I think that's minor. But that might be some of it. I really do think it's like... The last time it was like this, it was bad. Um, can't see him. Uh, for that reason, I didn't celebrate Christmas at all. Nothing. Usually, even if I'm by myself. Can you see him now? There he is. Um, I'll put up a tree. I didn't do any of that. Um, so my stress level is down tremendously. Um, my workload, I bet this is temporary, but right now it's down and it kind of freaks me out. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to make enough money. I'm not going to, I'm like sitting there like, I'm still making more than I need to make. So, give me a break. Um, it, it, avoidant people don't ever say no to anything, and they think they're being ungrateful, and they think that um, it's all or nothing, and that they're going, I mean, seriously, when I was like, I'm going to cut my hours, what I really thought was, I'm going to be fired. Um, that did go back to my very first job I ever had, though. My very first job, like, other than babysitting, like, job job, uh, was a waitress at Deering Ice Cream. 
and it was a summer job and I was like maybe 15. It was between my freshman and sophomore year of high school. And I had to go back to high school where we were required not to work. You couldn't, I was too young to work and be in school was illegal. And so I gave notice and they put me on the schedule past my notice date. And I was like, um, I can't do this. I'm going to be in class. And they fired me on the spot. And, um, so I actually have a history of being worried about that sort of thing. Um, I also, uh, okay, I do know what's going on. Um, this is going to sound pathetic. I mean, this is what I've been wanting, right? I have been lonelier than normal. Um, being lonely is like a state of existence when you have avoidant personality disorder. Um, and there are going to be people who are like, um, hi, I would talk to you. Why don't you talk to me? I would talk to you. Um, well, what I don't want is anybody asking me 50 million questions and clarifying. And what I don't want is somebody to try to fix something that's unfixable. And those two things make it really hard to have any actual real conversation with anybody. So I did this really dumb thing. I have no idea what the um, fallout's going to be. Pop, you still with me? He's somewhere. I don't see him. I think he's over there. Anyway, um... So I've worked at this job for like two years. I think? Three? I don't know. With the same people, which is, um, I don't, I feel like that's a really long time. I thought this would be like a little temporary thing. I really did. I thought it was like maybe a month I'd end up doing it. Um, but then again, it sort of fit into my life. Um, I told my supervisor my diagnosis. Well, one of them. I told her I have avoidant personality disorder. Nobody ever knows what that is. And now, I'm like, what is the fall going to be? The fall is going to be nothing. Because then I tried to explain it, and I was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, uh, the, the worst thing I can imagine is somebody coming over to my house unannounced for a cup of coffee. And she's like, yeah, I'm the same way. And I'm like, oh, yes. <sighs> One, she didn't get it. And two, she normalized it. And three... I'm, I think she's going to forget it. I don't know. Okay, where'd Poppy go? Now I have to turn around. I hear you. There you are. Can you see him? Anyway. I see him. What the hell? The thing is that I don't know. I guess I just want an easy friendship. Now, I, I kind of have one with somebody who has avoidant personality disorder, okay? I don't have to explain it. If I have some twitch of the avoidance, it's like, oh, yep, yeah, mm, there it is. And I don't have to explain it. It's great. And I don't have to send somebody to um, try to fix it because they know it can't be fixed. It's fantastic. But the flip side of that with interacting with somebody with avoidant personality disorder is they disappear and they have to and I mean they have to you know I have to too I have to temper it I, I mean everybody knows this I think I mean, it's obvious when's the last time I made a video um that it gets to the point where I just have to step way back um because it's like a sort of too real I can't continue the thoughts that I'm unimportant to somebody if I actually talk to them 
too regularly. Does that make sense? Or worse, if I think that I am important to them and they, I can't live up to their expectations, then I have to cut them loose as a decent human being. I have to cut them loose. So, anyway. I think that is what caused me to just have diarrhea of the mouth and blurt that out. I mean, I really think that I kind of picked the right person who is just doesn't give a shit <laughs> at all. Couldn't care less. There's so many other things like, oh, okay, whatever. I don't know what that means, so I'm going to ignore it. I mean, what she cares about is that I do my job and I do it well. And that's it. And if that means that, if anything, that's an explanation why I avoid like a group chat or friendly or passing out my phone number to people, it's like, well, you know, I mean, my oldest friend, when I finally got the diagnosis and I was so worried about explaining to him, um, I told him, yeah, this is the diagnosis and this is what he is. And he's like, um, yeah, that's who you are, what? <laughs> you, you thought this was going to be a big revelation? That's what? <laughs> yeah. It sounds just like you. Whatever. <laughs> you know, you think that this means that you're so damaged and I'm going to leave? That, you know, actually, he is very, very cool about it. He knew how it was. He, he's not upset at all that I leave because, of course, he has tons of other people that he interacts with it's more like he's just like it's a happy surprise if I pop up again um, so that's the kind of person that you like to have in your life you know somebody that you cannot talk to for five years and talk to again and then you know they are not grilling you about what the hell happened and why did you leave. Perfect. Um, find these people if you can. But again, not somebody I can talk to because it'll be like, okay, well, you're great. Why aren't you in a relationship? Ugh. Every single word of that kind of statement makes me like, just want to die. I mean, that's so, like, drama queen, but it does. It's just like, it's the worst thing somebody can say, and I hear it. Right, Poppy? I hear it, and it kills me. And anyway, so there's that. The, the workload is coming down. My stress is coming down. I'm still not sleeping. I become a vampire. I sleep, take a couple naps during the day and stay awake most of the night. And uh, it will take a while to break that habit. Um, let's see, what's next? Oh, the thing that everybody dreads to hear about, which is my son. My son is seriously making progress. Okay, so here's where the ghost is. But I think the ghost has gone south for the winter. Pop, don't go down there. <laughs> nope, I don't hear the ghost. Um, so, here's what happens with my son. He is 19. He has fully separated from me. However, like, um, like, legally, financially, all that stuff. However, he's still working on coping skills and he has terrible executive functioning skills. And this is just a fact. Executive functioning are, like, sort of figuring out what to do and following through and stuff like that. Um, so he had a really big wobble this week. Um, really scary. Like, oh, 
Your life is going to do 180. All these good things you've been doing are going to disappear on you. Um, and he, of course, called and freaked out at me. And, you know, like, was horrible and hung up and then sent me a text that if I didn't leave him alone, he was going to, you know, file a police... Um, what do they call it? Restraining order against me. Um, all this crap. But I was like, you can do it. I do think you need help. Here's where I suggest you get the help. And, um, he kind of chilled out. And the next day he went to the place to get the help. He got the help. He got it completely sorted. Everything was totally fine. He fixed it on his own. I can't tell you how proud I am of that kid. Making progress. I mean, it would be great if he stopped using me as the lightning rod to burn off this excess stress energy that he gets when something flares up and, you know, I mean, I get it. He can't think straight. He's got, like, all these worries in his head and until he gets them out of his system... He can't think. I understand that. I just don't like his method for getting rid of the energy. Um, and uh, let's see what else. Oh, what else? Um, the trips. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know what is up with inter in Instagram. Um, it doesn't like me posting anymore. It's rare that it actually lets me complete a post. I don't know why. I think it's a memory thing. I don't know. But then other times randomly it lets me do it. I don't know if it's an internet thing or my internet sucks. Well, I don't know. But if you've been looking on Instagram, the... Um, the last trip I took was like a month ago. I went to Hawaii. It was fantastic. And I have posted through, almost through the second day. And um, basically about a third of the photos I have gone through to be able to post. Um, and I, so that means I have about almost 2,000 left <laughs> to go through. I'm not going to post 2,000 pictures. No worries about that. But that's actually what I'm thinking is I don't know how many more at all I should post. Um, because, so the first three days I were in Hawaii and they were amazing and without a doubt as far as like views and stuff and radically different things it really, it's basically in there. <laughs> um, okay, this is the fire plug. This is where we're supposed to turn around. Right, Pop? Um, so, what do you think, Poppy? Um, what I did next was... I went to a real serious tourist trap place, um, and I mean, the cool thing that I did there, um, the two cool things I couldn't actually take pictures of. Um, one was restricted and like could take a very few and I could, I guess I could put this on and say, hey, I did this. And I don't have pictures of the really cool things I did. Um, and the other thing, and people in the know know this, um, what I did was I went on a night snorkel and um, I rented a GoPro, which I've never used before. And I have the disc of the video. I have no idea what's on it. I haven't even looked at it. Um, but that I could put up on YouTube at some point. I'm very nervous about it because, as you know, I don't edit. 
once in a blue, blue moon, I attempt it and I suck at it. Um, I'm pretty sure that raw footage I would have to edit into something and that would be like a big project for me. <laughs> that it will at some point be up on YouTube. But so the first half of the trip, I went to the big island of Hawaii um, and I did a road trip. I went to the um, national parks. Uh, I saw the volcano. Um, I did all this really amazing, cool stuff. The second half of the trip, I stayed in Waikiki on Oahu and I basically stayed put. Um, I went, let's see, what did I do? I did go out to see the Arizona Memorial. Maybe those pictures might be interesting, although there's a billion of them. Um, I mean, they're very, I mean, this it's not that big a place. Everybody's seen it. Um, I also, I went to the, what is it called? I mean, there's a museum of, of Hawaiian history. Um, that's not what it, the name of it is, but that's what it is. That was interesting. Um, maybe I can call some photos from that, but I've never, ever been to a museum that was so resistant to taking photographs. They let you do it, but they had, the, well, they had glass on everything, which reflected, and then they had writing etched into the glass. It was almost impossible to get any photos. Um, really hard. And also one of the most, I mean, I had gone already to the Arizona Memorial. One of the most depressing things I've seen. Um, you know, and I, le I mean, you saw the, well, I assume you saw the picture of the, um, the carvings into the lava. I think that stuff is fascinating. But this was the museum where they had all of the, you know, super violent tools they used to kill each other. You know, I mean, like swords made out of shark's teeth and stuff like that. I mean, yikes. Um, I mean, I, I, it was on the one hand, completely fascinating. On the other hand, it was really disturbing to me. Things like, oh, here is a cape made from the feathers of a quarter million birds. And I'm just like, so much death in that. I really had a bad vibe of the place. Um, tons of pictures. Also went to the Honolulu Art Museum. I love going to art museums. I don't think this is the type of thing that people are into, though. I don't know. There's some people really into it. I had a great time. I loved it because it's been so long since I've been to a museum. But again, pictures of paintings. I don't know that it's even that interesting. Maybe I could put up a post of the best of the 300 or so pictures I took in there. Um, maybe. I mean, there really isn't that much. Um, I, I spent a day on Waikiki Beach, which was empty. But I mean, it's a beach. You take one picture, there it is. There's nothing much else going on. Um, there really isn't, I don't think, that much more that would be interesting to other people. It was... I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about what I was going to do with all the pictures afterwards. It's a type of thing where, like in Facebook, they let you make photo albums where you can put in... 200 pictures, those would probably go better there um, than on Instagram, in my opinion. I don't know. So basically, there's a ton of stuff, and I don't even know how much of it is really something that should be posted anyway, but Instagram is not letting me post anyway, so there we go. Um, and as far as trips go, the pandemic is really getting me down. Um, the fact that I can't travel really much of anywhere. Um, I am travel. I am planning a trip for the fall that I had planned for last spring. Um, I'm trying to do it. I don't know. 
Who knows? There's a good chance I won't do it. Um, because everything's still shut down. Um, I don't know what else. I think I'm, I think what I'm doing is waiting for it to warm up elsewhere. Um, so people are like, okay, well, where can you go? Um, Las Vegas is open. What the hell would I want to do there for? Although there is actually something really cool there called Meow Wolf. I don't, I think they've got um, one there. I don't know if it's actually like a good one or not, but it might be something radically different. They might have used the name. The Meow Wolf is awesome. Um, there's one in Arizona, New Mexico, something like that. Awesome. I don't think that it's something that they, that they can do in the pandemic. It's basically like an adult um, children's museum type thing. Awesome. Um, I was thinking about going to see the ice castles that they have in New Hampshire. Um, but apparently this year, due to the weather, it's not good. Uh, not worth the money. Um, so no. I don't know. So I didn't go anywhere this month. It's a short month anyway. And I've been coping with all these things and making these changes. Is this thing... Oh, I'm running out of time. Um, and that's what I've been up to. Also, um, my father is still in the hospital. He has Alzheimer's. He's deteriorating. He violently attacked the people at the last place he was staying at, so he's not allowed to stay there anymore, and they can't find a new place for him, because again, well, one, there's no space, and two, pandemic. And I haven't seen him for over a year. Anyway, um... That's it. That's absolutely everything going on in my life right now. Reading cool books. That's about it. Keeping to myself. Keeping to myself. Um, and it is kind of meh. And, you know, the going on trips would pull me out of that funk. Um, and I can't do that right now. Which, you know, I was like, oh. So, uh, I'll give it a shot next month. I'll try to figure out some place that I can go and not deal with quarantine. And, um, I don't know, maybe it will pull me back out. I mean, the thing is, is that the places I would go are all closed. Um, the art museum in Philadelphia opened. I love that place. But again, it's an art museum. And two, I've been there already. I used to live in Philadelphia for ten years. I don't think I would have like the positive effect if I went down there the positive effect of newness. I would have the same type of shock I'm having like going down the street. Oh, another closed door, another closed door, another closed door. I hate that. Um, again, it's going to be whining about what everybody else is doing, but I hate that. And I think it would bum me out if I went there and everything was closed. So I don't really know. Um, I'll try to make more frequent videos. No promises. I gotta get Poppy home. Bye.